Where did I just get shot from? I don't understand. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some fixer gameplay. And today we're going to be talking about this survey. This survey is going to just annihilate Rogue Company as we know it. So let's head over and check it out. So this is a survey that Rogue Company sent out to some of their previous player base. So basically what happened here as a little precursor is anybody that hadn't played in X amount of time was sent this survey so that they could gather feedback on ways to improve the game so that it could possibly bring people back into the game. So I'm going to take the perspective as if I stopped playing this game, let's say at the beginning of the uh, Formal Affair update, right? Because the Formal Affair update was a very critical update, in my opinion. And whenever it was released, it was just an absolute nightmare whenever it came out. Uh, and then the Walking Dead update has not been any better whatsoever. So I'm going to take the perspective as if I quit playing the game, I quit um, creating content on the game whenever that update came out. I'm going to fill this out, but I'm not going to submit it because I'm going to need this at a future date, and you'll find out why. So the first question is, of the following list, are any of these reasons why you haven't played Rogue Company recently? Server problems, definitely. Balance issues, poor matchmaking. The game is buggy, absolutely. Um, okay, we're going to go next. Okay, the main reason you haven't played Rogue Company recently. This game is buggy, poor matchmaking quality, server problems, the game has balance issues. So you want us to narrow it down to one of the choices that we gave previously, right? That That's basically what this is about, right? So I'm just going to chalk it up to server problems because I feel like that would fix a ton of the issues. Of course, the matchmaking is still going to suck. Which three of the following additions do you think are necessary for the game? Improve matchmaking, absolutely. Uh, leaderboards would be nice. Fixing bugs and quality of life features, absolutely. Uh, more tactical game modes, yes, absolutely. And I think, like, I think that's going to cover it. Have you played any of these games in the last month? So, yes, yes. Uh, I haven't played Call of Duty, Overwatch, yes. Yes. All right, next. Which of the three? Okay, so I've got to narrow this down. So I'm just going to get... I don't care about leaderboards. I know a lot of people do, but I don't care about leaderboards. So I'm just going to get rid of that straight out of the gate. What have you been doing since you last played Rogue Company? Started school, playing another game, life changes, starting a new job, playing other games, obviously. Uh, play on PC, of course. When did you start playing Rogue Company? I mean, closed beta, right? Uh, what is one thing that would make you play the game again? And this is basically reiterating better servers, better matchmaking, more quality of life, and bug fixes. Describe your best moment in the game. Um, before the TTK changes, before the TTK changes, absolutely. And that is that, like, that's that I'm not going to submit this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to roll it back so that it doesn't submit this because I do currently play the game, but I'm going to go back. So those are all the questions and that's everything. So let's take it back up top. Okay, so I wanted to fill the survey out. I wanted to experience exactly what was in that survey because, like I said, it wasn't sent to me at all. It wasn't something that I had access to, but one of the incredible members of the community sent me the survey so that I could check it out and so that I could, of course, make a video on it. So why will this survey kill Rogue Company? So if they send this email out in mass to everybody that hasn't played the game in three to six months, then how many millions of players are going to get access to this email, right? Uh, and then out of those millions of players, let's say 10% of those players 
actively fill the survey out because at one time the game touted that there was like 23 million downloads so let's say that there's 23 million downloads and let's say that 3 million of those players have played the game within the last six months and i think i'm being very generous with these numbers here so if it sends it out to 20 million players right and then 10 percent of those and 10% of those 20 million fill this out, then that's going to be 2 million players that fill this survey out. So 5% would be what? 1 million? It might be a little bit more or less. I don't know. I don't know math. Anyway, so if you have 2 million people that fill this survey out, right, just off of the off chance that 2 million fill this out, and they go in there and they say, well, we need bigger maps and we need more players playing the game like in, in a match and we need better respawn game modes and we need better cosmetics and we like if they go through and bullshit this survey then that is absolutely going to throw a gigantic monkey wrench into what is essentially the game that we are currently playing this may not be good for the current player base of the game and i understand what the implications and what they're trying to do with this survey is they want to bring players back into the game and I'm assuming that they thought that the Walking Dead collaboration was going to be this huge thing that was going to bring tons of players back into the game. But you have to release an update that isn't just completely shitty in order for players to actually come back to your game. If they log in and they see that they can't purchase the Dahlia skin, or if they can, then they can't use it. Or if they can, they don't have a hitbox, so they're basically trolling every single game. What makes you think that those players are going to want to stick around? People could absolutely sway this poll in a gigantic way to just completely outright kill the game. That is where my head is right now. That is absolutely where my head is. Uh, and I think that this feedback is crucial. I think that this feedback is interesting. But the developers and the team over at First Watch Games is absolutely doing every single thing that they can right now to try to get as many players back into the game as they possibly can. They dropped the ball, substantially dropped the ball, and they have yet to pick that ball up, establish exactly what this game is going to be, and run with it. That is the biggest issue with it. It has gone through so many ebbs and flows when, since the game has been released in the closed beta, right? It started out as a tactical third-person shooter. Then it wanted to appeal to this more casual player base. So they started increasing respawn modes and creating all these new respawn game modes. And they started promoting that. And then they wanted to go back and create a more competitive type environment with it, when it with the RCCS and some of the CMG tournaments that were going around. So they tried to pivot and cater back to that competitive scene and then that competitive scene disappears so now they don't know what to do they're sitting around they're looking at all the pieces of this game that they were working on and they're seeing it in shambles and they're trying to stitch something back together that isn't the game that we all originally downloaded and that we all originally fell in love with um i'm not excited about where this goes and i'm not excited about what the repercussions of this survey is going to be and i could be completely blowing this out of proportion and that's probably more than likely what's going to happen because if someone gets an email from rogue company and they see that it's a survey they're not going to take the time to fill it out if they do take the time to fill it out how many people are going to take it serious how many people are going to see the survey drop back into the game see what's going on with the game right now in its current state and say yeah this isn't really for me and then uninstall it right there and say screw the survey or they get on there and they play the game and they have a very mediocre experience because the game isn't where it needs to be especially coming coming out of closed beta several months ago that they're going to be like well these are the issues and this is what i personally want to see in the game i know that we all have different experiences that we want to get out of it i understand that but there's no direction there's no vision to where the game is going so they can't just charge ahead with this idea and with this vision and balance everything around that vision they're trying to do too many things at one time and in doing so they're dropping every single one of those balls that they're trying to juggle i have no idea how this is going to impact us whatsoever uh the, the current player base i have no idea what the repercussions of this survey is going to be and i'm very fearful that this is going that this is something that signifies a massive change in the game and it could be a change for the better, 
but it could also be a change for the worse. And it's that change for the worse that has me scared. Because if they do the change for the better, they go in there, they develop a vision, whatever that vision may be. If they would just develop that vision and announce that vision, then you can have players decide from that point forward whether they want to stick around with the game or not. It's very concerning that they want to try to find out why people left the game by sending a survey out, as opposed to listening to the community that is still playing your game and working on ways to improve that experience for those players before reaching out to try to get other players back into it. It really makes you feel like you're not appreciated whatsoever. And for everybody that's out there that's watching this video, I appreciate you whether the game does or not. I'll just say that. I appreciate you whether First Watch Games appreciate you. I appreciate you whether High res appreciates you or not. It feels like a slap in the face. There's tons of great feedback all over the internet, all over social media, and also in the Discord group where the creators are. And I don't think any of that is being taken into account, and I don't think that any of it is being taken seriously whatsoever. But we're going to send a survey out to everybody that hasn't played in the last three to six months and we're going to rework and cater the game around those players. Because they may or may not reinstall the game at some point in their life. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that this survey is a good idea? Are you concerned with what this survey could it potentially lead to for the game? And just what are your general thoughts on the current state of the game right now? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by. Say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Ah, oh, damn it. I really don't know about that fixture, dude. He's hitting me no matter what. They know I'm flanking. How do they know? Yeah, they're running over there. Hey, I think the fixture's cheating, I'm telling you. Oh, my God, dude. Possibly blue waffles as well. He's teabagging me. I just killed him. Oh. How are you not dead? He's... Remaining. They're all I'm pushing dead. you. They're all in there. Um, picture dead. Ten right here. Hey, I'm dead. Hey, hey, yep. <laughs> Whatever. Him and that fucking down was both, dude. It was just. It was pasta getting headshot bomb. Go ahead and report Odons with Mary. Let's see what level is fucking boy here. Five fifty. Okay. Two sixty six.